Fantastic. So my plans have changed slightly. That's never a good sign. This is some 10W30. And uh, yeah. I also just found out one of my best friends from college is coming back into town for the weekend. So, oh, sorry folks, got a little bit of, got a little bit of stuff on the lens there. Might have just made it worse, but whatever. I'm gonna go get lunch with him, and then I might fish, I might do some pond hopping. We gotta see, but also, for those of you who don't know who Alex Perrick is, he has these moments where it's like, you forget something or you break something, and this whole day is kind of turning into one of those. I realized I forgot the frame mount for my GoPro in my cabin, which is four hours about that way. I'm gonna go buy one, which well, I don't wanna do because it's ridiculous. You can buy one online for 10 bucks, but I wanna film today. So I'm gonna go spend $30 on one. Holy shit. Just checked my coolant level. To say I'm disappointed is a little bit of an understatement. I didn't even have it. How do you. I don't know, I guess I'm spoiled with Fleet Farm with them having every single thing in the entire world that you ever need, ever. So now the plan is to head to Target, because it's right here. Oh my god. I think there's better murder. They don't have it either. Well, that was a big old bust as well. Big department store. I'd assume... I'm heading back out of the house, uh, going to grab some lunch with a buddy from college, and then, then we're gonna be doing some fishing. I, I decided we're just gonna pond fish today. I don't know, like, uh, I'll probably just go to my old faithful pond, the. Uh, Pond of Lamira where I filmed my MTB slams. What's happening, dude? What's up, dude? How goes it? Good, man. How are you? I'm good. I didn't, I didn't order any food yet. So All right. I'm going to be hungry and I'm ready very true. I just crushed that lunch. Awesome to see Jack again. Uh, but now it's time to get to the real portion of today's video. I bet the wind noise just got way better. And that is fishing. We're gonna go do some pond bassing. Should be a good time. I don't know. We'll see. There's a guy who's fishing here and he just said that he caught, he's missed two bass over 20 inches. And I just saw him put about a 16 inch back in the water. So. That is definitely a good sign. He said he caught him on a crappie minnow, so I'm gonna have to try a drop shot at some point. All of the little shelters that they got in here. This is a perfect day for fishing though. Absolutely perfect. I just had to follow first cast. Oh great, that might be it for the, that Arashi. <laughs> oh man, are you kidding? 
I was so close to switching from this bait too. Ah! Please come off, please come off. Nope, there it goes. Well, I was gonna switch anyways, I guess, but that's not exactly how I wanted to do it. Let's see the other Arashi that I got in there. This is a uh, black, or a uh, red craw, red craw color. That's good, that's caught fish here before, actually. Not that exact bait, but that color. That'll do nicely. Gonna use the full worm, I think. Just gonna nose hook it. For now. This worm itself has some really great action. There we go. That might have been a fish. I think I just missed one. It's pretty deep out there actually, maybe six, seven feet. Kind of popping it once or twice, letting it sit for a little bit, and then popping it again. I don't know, man. It's weird. Never been skunked here before. I hope I don't. Oop. I feel like something. I think it's just the weight hitting them. Oh. There's a fish. Oh, big one. Oh, my goodness. Don't come on pin, baby. Don't come on pin. Oh, that's a nice fish. He didn't feel that big. He wasn't fighting too hard. This is a nice one. This is a nice, nice fish. Hopefully you saw that jump. He jumped maybe. Man, he's really fighting. Come on, baby. Oh, don't go over there. Don't go over there. This is a really nice fish. Oh, my gosh. It's a giant. It's a freaking giant. Oh, my God. Don't keep. Stay thin, baby. Stay thin. That's a nice one. Nice. Yeah, that's the first one of the day. How long have you been out here? A few hours. You know, there's walleye in this pond, right? Yeah, I know. I never caught one, though. Ice fish. Oh, really? Nice. We caught 22 up to 26 inch. Really? get anything smaller than 22 when I went out. Wow. Do you guys mind taking a picture? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, what? Military? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What rank? <laughs> Alright. Frank bait. Three casts. That's all we're doing. Oh my god, he smoked it. He freaking smoked it. It's a big one, too. Another freaking giant. Don't come off. Don't come off. Yes! He came off right as he hit the... Right as he hit the... Oh my goodness. That's another nice one. Not as big, but... Oh, he came off right as he hit the bank. That's a beautiful fish. Another two-pounder. A little bit smaller than the last one. But that's a nice fish. But yeah, that chunk. These fishing here are so healthy. He crushed that. He crushed that little, little Arashi, that little three, size three Arashi. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous fish. There he goes. Awesome, yes. Crankbait, woo! Just, a, well, that's it folks. I think that just about does it for me for today. But uh, it was good, it was a fun day. And, uh, I don't know.
good. Caught a couple of fish. Oh no. Kinda of chilly. Oh and the train comes. Praise I'm trying to do a freaking outro, the train comes. One thing I'm going to do before I leave though is get in some practice on this jerk bait because I'm not super familiar with jerk bait fishing, but I don't know. We'll see. Any of you have any tips for throwing this jerk bait? I am using a uh, this is a favorite uh, reel. It is a 7 to 1. I do know that, and I do know to use a fast hit, uh, medium heavy rod. Uh, maybe that's even wrong, but please give me some tips. I know you're kind of supposed to rip it down like that. I don't know. Oh, it's really cool. Really erratic. Awesome. Well, folks, it was a good day. I think we got some pretty good footage, but it is time to go. It is time to go home. It's time to get some good rest. And I'm gonna get some dope B-roll, as uh, one of our friendly neighborhood YouTube anglers would say. Look at that sunset, what a beautiful way to end the day here in central Wisconsin. Just absolutely gorgeous. But we'll see you next time on Fishing Wisconsin. Thanks for watching, guys.